Now, it has been over 40 years since Moses has given us the law at Mount Sinai. But the law was given to us, the older generation. Sadly, there are only few of us left. Our children has all grown up, but they do not know the law because they have not been taught it. So Moses decided to repeat the law and remind them that God has led them to today. This is seen in the book of Deuteronomy. Now, Moses is 120 years old, but all he's ever wanted was that the children of Israel to follow the commandments and laws of God. Good morning, everyone. Oh, we can't see you. Oh, what? Wait, hold up, hold up. Joshua, hey Joshua, come fix this for me. My camera is not working. Yep, yep. Press that and this and. Am I on? Is it working? Yeah, yeah. we can see you now. Ah, uh, very good. Good morning, students. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Wait, uh, are we in the wrong classroom? No, no. I can assure you, you are in the right place. I will be taking your lesson today. My name is Professor Moses and I am an expert in leadership. And I was the first person ever to download data from the clouds onto a tablet. No? Data, clouds, Ten Commandments, tablet. <sighs> Never mind. Have you heard of me before? Moses? Uh, Ring a bell? Moses. Uh, wait, that name sounds familiar, yeah. Hold up. Yes, yes we have. From the other little evangelist videos. What happened to your beard though? Oh. Well, long story short, my wife didn't really like it, so uh, I had to get rid of it. But hey, look, let's leave that behind us. Anyways, today's lesson is about the final book of the Pentateuch, and it's named the book of Deuteronomy. Okay, so let's recap, shall we? Do you remember when God called Abraham in the book of Genesis? Then in Exodus, the Israelites crossed the Red Sea to be freed from the Pharaoh and were given the Ten Commandments. Later on, in the book of Numbers, we see the Israelites choosing to go back to Egypt and turning against Moses, aka me. Now, the rebellion of Israel grew and they began to lose trust in God. They turned against one another, began to worship false gods. Then they broke the commandments. They moaned and complained against God and became blind to the graces that God was showering on them. As a consequence of their actions, God decided that this wicked generation wouldn't enter the promised land. But then the new generation of their children and grandchildren rose up and now they are at the border of entering the promised land. I gave them the choice to either obey God and the laws that he had given or disobey them like the old generation did. So, the old generation couldn't even see the promised land even after waiting nearly 40 years? Yes, that is correct. And so God wanted the new generation you guys, to choose the right way, unlike your parents and grandparents. So we are like the new generation. We're young. Yes, absolutely. Do you remember the choice that God gave them? Oh yeah, I think it was something about obedience and um, uh... Uh, disobedience. Yes, correct. So God reminds the new generation of the Ten Commandments. Do you guys know the Ten Commandments? 
You know what? I will give you three questions about the Ten Commandments. Are you ready? Yeah. 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 Okay. Question number one. Which is the seventh commandment? Do you know? Is it not to steal? Yes. Now then, which is the first commandment? Oh, I know this one. Um, I am the Lord your God, and you shall have no other gods before me. Very good. Now then, which is the first commandment with the promise? Now hear me carefully. Not the first commandment, but the first commandment with a promise. Uh, um, you shall observe the Sabbath. Oh man, we've been through this already. Respect your mother and your father. But I do that already. No, no, that that was the answer. But what was the answer? Never mind. Well done, everyone. Now, it was at this time that God, through me, revealed to the younger generations one of the greatest commandment, and it goes like this: Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. I heard that the Israelites disobeyed God by having false gods. Yes, unfortunately, that is true. And so God wanted the younger generation to destroy all the fake gods that they worshipped. The altars were to be smashed and burnt, and only offerings to the Almighty God was to be made at the appointed place. Now, carrying on. There was, this was where the new laws were introduced. Laws about marriage, family, living with one another in peace, protecting children, widows, immigrants, and the poor. Wow, that seems like a lot of rules to follow. Yeah. It's just like school, there's so many rules. See, these laws were made the Israelites different, okay? Well, many other nations were disobeying God. The Israelites were the chosen people of God, and so God wanted to bless them more and more. Now he does this through guiding the Israelites through all their different laws. And with obedience comes blessing, but disobedience brings curses. Look, I figured that one day the Israelites would disobey God and be kicked out from the land. But another thing I knew was that God would restore the people to the promised land and the Lord will give them a new heart so that they could once again love him with all their heart and with all their soul. Okay, then why don't we say a quick prayer so that yeah. we too can love God with our whole heart? That sounds like a good idea. Let's say it together. Dear Holy Spirit, help us to love you with our whole heart, to live in your presence and to listen to your words. We need your grace. Please help us to do this every day. Amen. So what happened next in the story? Well, if you remember, I never quite made it to the promised land and the people of Israel needed a new leader. That was when Joshua was appointed as a leader. And finally, towards the end of the book, they recited the words of a song for the people of Israel want to remind them of the consequences of their disobedience. Oh no, that does not sound like a happy song. Look, don't worry, I also blessed each of the tribes with prosperity in the future. And now, that sounds like the end of Deuteronomy. Wait, hey, wait, so it's actually true that you and all those old people didn't get to see the promised land, even though you waited 40 years. That was so eventful, so much happened. Well, why don't we test what you remember? A test? Not exactly. How about a quiz? Do we get prizes? Maybe, maybe. You'll have to wait and see at the end.
Well done, you guys. Do you want to see the prize? Here you go. The cabin crew will now proceed to point out the safety features of this plane. Thank you for choosing to travel with the Little Evangelist Airlines. Enjoy your flight. And finally, we're off to the promised land. Guys, you know, I am so excited to reach the land of Canaan. Us Israelites, we've been traveling for decades to reach this land. And finally, and finally, we are so close. So excited, so, so excited. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. As you might be aware by now, we're having some control difficulties within the plane. So we're attempting an emergency landing just before Jerusalem Airport. We'll be landing in approximately three minutes. But I need you to understand that this is going to be a crash landing. So please review your emergency procedures. We will do everything in our power to get everyone to the ground, but we need your cooperation. I think, I think my time is coming to an end. Wait, are you gonna? No, 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 calm down. My laptop is about to die. But yes, I am old. Look, I hope you all enjoyed this week's video. Stay tuned for the next one. Praise the Lord. Now, I know what you're thinking. This guy looks a bit like Moses. Well, that's only because both him and I were made in the image and likeness of God. Now. I want to share with you guys two very powerful scriptures from the book of Deuteronomy. Now don't get me wrong, they are all very powerful. But these are two scriptures which has really touched my heart. Now, Word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. See now, O Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you? Only to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him and to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Now I really love this because God lays out a very simple term for our life. This is the only thing that God requires of us to fear the Lord, to walk in His ways, to love Him and to serve God. Now I want to share with you Deuteronomy chapter 31 and verse 8. The Word of God says, It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. Do not fear all be dismayed. Now this gives me great hope and I pray that these scriptures gives you the same hope that the Lord our God goes with you. He is with you, he goes before you and he is by your side and he will be there for you. God bless.